Praise the Lord. It's a great privilege to be coming away again today. God will bless you. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are right now hearing me, watching me, and in whatever you may be doing, God will bless you if the thing glorifies his name. Uh, very quickly, I want to talk about the 12 commandments of prayer. The 12 commandments of prayer. I'm not going to exhaust all today. I'll mention maybe one or two because the video must not be too long. Number one is thou shalt pray in the name of none other but Jesus only. Thou shalt pray in the name of none other but the name of Jesus only. Now, why must we pray only in the name of Jesus? Number one is because it is only the name of Jesus that carries salvation with it. It is only the name of Jesus that carries salvation with it. The Bible says there is no salvation in any other because there is no other name that is given whereby we can be saved. So it is only the name of Jesus that carries salvation in it. Number two, it is only the name of Jesus that carries deliverance. We know the advanced definition of salvation is also deliverance, but for the purpose of the language, it's only the name of Jesus that carries deliverance. Jesus says, in my name, you shall cast out devils. In my name, you shall cast out devils. And in another place in the book of Joel, it says that the, anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered shall be delivered. So it is the name of Jesus only that carries salvation, that carries deliverance, that carries the casting out of devil that can we can use to cast out devil, not in real, in truth. Number three, it is only the name of Jesus the Lord that carries safety. It is only the name of Jesus the Lord that carries safety. The Bible says in Proverbs that uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it, and they are safe. The righteous run into it, and they are safe. That place is talking about safety, running into the tower that the name of Jesus builds, the, the covering that it, that it produces. When you run under it, you will be safe. So safety is in the name of Jesus. Deliverance, the casting out of devils are in the name of Jesus. And salvation is in the name of Jesus. Now, let me quickly clear something about uh, praying in the name of our spiritual fathers. Praying in the name of our spiritual fathers. Praying in the name of our spiritual father is very wrong. It's not biblical. But praying, mentioning the name of our spiritual father is also biblical. Is very biblical when you call upon the name, when you call the name of your spiritual father in prayer. So while I was teaching in church, I told the people that calling the name of anybody in prayer is both wrong and right, depending on how you call it and with the, underst the understanding with which you are calling it. Now, what does it mean to say that calling the name of anybody in prayer is both wrong and right? Number one, if you understand that you are not to pray in the name of anybody, if you understand it right, you will know that anytime you call on the name of maybe your spiritual father, you, 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 you are calling it from the perspective of not praying in their name, but clicking the covenant that they carry clicking the covenant, engaging the covenant that they carry. For example, we have Joseph Ayobabalola in Nigeria, a great man of God, of blessed memory, and he is the first general evangelist of Christ Apostolic Church, CAC. And everyone that comes from that background, they sing with the name of Joseph Ayobabalola. They pray calling the God of 1930, or you say, Allah Ayo, the God of Ayo. Any song that you hear, Allah Ayo, they are not talking about any other person. They are talking about the God of Joseph Ayo Babalola of CAC, who was a great man of God that was mightily used of God. But when you're calling that, you are not praying in the name of Joseph Ayo Babalola. You are actually 
called clinking the covenant that you believe in because you believe that it is God that mightily used him. And this in this, this area of calling and clicking covenant is very, very important that we are careful to really know that this person serves a genuine God. For example, whenever I'm preaching sometime and I'm ministering under the prophetic and the apostolic, I can call the God of my father, the God of my father. If you are one of those that have been listening to me for several times and watching our live videos of from church, my ministration, you see me call the God of our father. The God of my father, I say the God of my father. The God of my father is no other God than this same Jesus. It's no other God than this Jehovah that we're serving because I knew my father very well. I was very close to him uh, before, while he was alive. And my spiritual father, I knew him very well. I'm very close to him. I know the God that he's serving. I'm, I am very, very sure that it is this Jesus that he has revealed to me. So sometimes the people that carry covenants, that carry some covenants like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, when you call their name, the O God of Jacob, O God of Israel, you are clicking a covenant, you are activating a covenant that works with them and the covenant that they have with God. That is what it means to call the name of people sometimes in prayer. But we must do it with understanding. But we don't pray to God in their name. We pray to God in the name of Jesus because that is what the Bible says that uh, and it is those that call the name of the Lord that will be saved. It's not anybody that calls the name of their father. But when you are praying, when you are in difficulty, you can. I know this is a very controversial subject, but if you have understanding, you will know what I'm saying, that you can click the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is also what Jesus came to, to, to represent. We use the name of Jesus as a summary, but sometimes when we are praying, you, you are activating some serious matter. It's not as if the name of Jesus cannot solve it, but you are going into some covenant that are stronger than you, that are more than you. And you say, oh God of the founder of redeemed Christian Church of God, parking that you mean, you know, you are clicking the covenant that's working on the church. Oh God of Joseph Ayobabala, Lola, you are clicking the covenant with which the man of God worked. But this is not to say that we should just go everywhere and just God of Ayobaba Lola, God of Olon Lene, Olon Mafo, Olon Kwajiri, all the great green names around us. If you are from a part of the world, you will understand the names I mentioned. No. You must know that it is the name of Jesus that is given to us and that is the number one commandment of prayer. You must pray in the name of Jesus only. But when you're calling the name of another, you must call it with understanding of clicking and activating the covenant that they carry and that they worked with. Why? Especially if you are in their kind of denomination, you are calling the covenant of where you are that establish the thing that you are doing in the name of Jesus. God will bless you. I hope you are blessed with this uh, message. I'll come again next time and tell you another commandment of prayer. I remain Dr. Stephen Norioye or Lakunle. Like, comment, and share. And if you are on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gospiration Power TV, which uh, you will see, in the which you will see many of.